That was really not good. I'm sorry. Welcome to Ms. Mojo. And today, we're counting down our picks for the top 20 dumbest family feud fails. Name a number that most men exaggerate. 100. For this list, we're looking at the worst answers given on any iteration of this popular survey-themed game show. Which of these responses made you laugh the most? Let us know in the comments. Number 20. Yogi. The story of Goldilocks and the Three Bears is one of the most enduring fairy tales ever crafted. So, when this contestant was asked to name one of the Three Bears during the Fast Money round, it should have been easy. <laughs> However, he seemed to forget all about the common fairy tale and quickly responded, Yogi. One of the Three Bears. Yogi. Hey, <laughs> The round was soon interrupted by everyone from the contestant with a pilot background to the studio audience all guffawing. Host Richard Dawson even got in a wisecrack about how the competitor was, quote, it's flying airplanes for us. While this contestant may be good at flying actual planes, his answer definitely crashed and burned. Okie dokie, Yogi. Geronimo! Number 19. Mutual Friends. Sometimes Family Feud answers are more than just wrong, they're completely illogical. When this contestant is asked to name something you make conversation about when you meet a stranger, she responds with, How about maybe mutual friends? Someone you might... I got you. Yeah. I don't know. We're not quite sure how that would work. And admittedly, the contestant doesn't sound too confident in her answer either. Host Richard Dawson can't help but playfully tease her about the response and imagines an entire scenario in which two people meet by chance and try to talk about a mutual acquaintance. I don't think I've ever seen you before. How's Harry? <laughs> Who's Harry? My friend. I... This unfortunate answer results in the family's third strike. Judy, I love you, but you're funny. <laughs> mutual friends? <laughs> no! While a stranger can be a friend you haven't met yet, there was no way her response was going to be on the board. Number 18. Because it's raining. The pressure of being on Family Feud has caused many a contestant to give an answer that doesn't make a lick of sense. At the start of a round, competitors are asked the reason you might stay indoors on a beautiful day. Unfortunately, one contestant was clearly more concerned with ringing in first than comprehending the question. After slamming his hand on the buzzer, he replies, Because it's raining. Something tells us he heard the first part of the question, but not the second. Speed on Family Feud is not nearly as important as accuracy. <laughs> Number 17. Hanukkah. There are so many traditions associated with Christmas. You decorate the tree, you unwrap gifts, and also celebrate Hanukkah? That's what a contestant named Debbie suggested during her time on the show. Name a tradition associated with Christmas. Debbie. Hanukkah. When asked to name a Christmas tradition, she seemed to forget that Hanukkah was a completely separate holiday that has a long and rich history of its own. Debbie and host Ray Combs start cracking up right after she makes this blunder. Honestly, we wouldn't be surprised if a new holiday tradition at her house is being reminded of this classic response. I say we call it a Christmas tree. Number 16. Yourself. Certain answers risk revealing more about who gave the response than intended. When one contestant is asked to name something you wash once a week, she buzzes in with Yourself. Judging by the competitor's wincing reaction, this was another ridiculous answer that doesn't reflect her actual bathing habits. However, host Richard Dawson makes the best of the moment and milks the misstep for all it's worth. I will not be coming around. It makes for an absolutely hilarious mid-game exchange. And as an added bonus, this answer definitely promotes water conservation. I haven't bathed in weeks. Well, we've only been out for a few hours. I know. <laughs> Number 15. Frog. The Fast Money Round is a treat for viewers who enjoy seeing contestants give absurd answers under pressure. After being asked to name an animal with three letters in its name, he responds, Frog. Although the contestant tries to shake off this bad answer, he doesn't fully recover. Later in the round, he's asked to name something that comes with a summer storm, and he says, Snow. We hope this family didn't need those Fast Money earnings too badly. Number 14. Chicken. 
What's more embarrassing than giving an incorrect response? Shouting out a wrong answer and acting like you nailed it. On Family Feud Canada, a round's opening question was name Popeye's favorite food. The contestant to ring in first replies, Chicken! With utter confidence, complete with a victory dance. This premature celebration leaves host Jerry D and the competitor's family stunned. To add insult to injury, the other contestant easily replies with the correct answer. Spin it, Jerry. While mixing up Popeye the Sailor with the chicken chain was bad at the moment, the answer paid off. The restaurant offered her $10,000 worth of menu items. Number 13, the bottom part. Remember the days of landline phones? We'd pick up the receiver, dial the buttons, and wrap the cord around our fingers. Ooh, sounds delish. Let me just toss some jeans on and I... Wait a minute, who is this? These are just three examples of how this contestant could have answered this particular question. Unfortunately, when a contestant was asked to name a phone part, she went with... The bottom part. Although we can understand what she was going for, a vague answer like that was never going to fly for the show. It also stings that her teammate had earned her family 58 points by answering receiver earlier. Well, at least she didn't say the top part. Number 12. Orange. A number of Family Feud contestants would do great if the show ever did an opposite day episode. One such contestant would have excelled in a fast money round where she was asked to name a yellow fruit. The competitor responds with orange. It's hard to forgive her for going with a fruit that tells you exactly what color it is in its name. You can immediately tell that she wishes she could go back and give another more accurate response. Or to speak in terms of an answer she should have given instead, it looks like it drove her bananas. Oh, banana. Banana. Well, guess she couldn't make lemonade out of these lemons. Okay, we'll stop. This has a lemonade business. It's clearly booming, Bart. Number 11, excited. Different words can have varied meanings depending on the context. You can certainly feel an emotion like excitement, but that's not the kind of feeling this question was referring to. When asked to name something you feel before you buy it, this contestant responds not with an item, but an emotion. Mike! Excited. We're guessing he let his own excitement get the best of him. Host Richard Karn looked equal parts shocked and amused at this response. Fortunately, the contestant was also entertained by this misunderstanding. If you could actually buy excitement, we assume this competitor would visit that store every day. I'm so excited! I'm so excited! Number 10. Read. What would Family Feud be without Steve Harvey and his classic reactions? Sometimes Harvey is so flabbergasted by a contestant's response that it appears he's lost all faith in humanity. When asked to name something that's hard to do with one's eyes open, this contestant confidently says, Read. Harvey reminds the audience that the contestant is in college and roasts him further. This boy in college. <laughs> he enrolled in that now. He leaned into the mic and said, Read, Steve. Okay. I sure want to see you shut your eyes and do it. <laughs> it's even funnier when you realize that since it wasn't a fast money or round starting question, he had more time to think about it. We're not sure how exactly he reads, but it doesn't seem particularly efficient. Why well, can't read? Number nine, Papa. There are many different types of bear out there. Polar, grizzly, panda, but believe it or not, Papa bear is not an official type. For this round, host Richard Dawson asks the contestants to name a type of bear. Not one to let his opponent get an answer in, this man quickly hits his button and answers Papa Bear, and quite unenthusiastically, we may add. I'm a Papa Bear. What makes this moment so funny isn't necessarily the answer itself, but the man's reaction. He knows he messed up, but the words are already out of his mouth. We can only assume the 100 people surveyed were not fans of Goldilocks. I wonder where Goldilocks was. <gasps> oh, oh, that bed was just right. <laughs> Number eight, Jose. Give me a boy's name that starts with the letter H. You can see where the thought process was with this one, but come on. No way, Jose. When Steve Harvey asks contestant Anthony to give him a boy's name that starts with the letter H, Anthony slams the table and confidently blurts out, Jose. Jose. 
His answer is obviously wrong, but it's Anthony's confidence that makes it even funnier. He's absolutely sure he nailed the question, despite the bewildered looks of both Steve Harvey and even his own family. As it turns out, the survey, unlike Anthony, knows that Jose doesn't start with an H. You know what it does? Harvey. Number 7. Pork Upine. Name a word or phrase that begins with pork. He say, I got this, Steve. I got this all day. This answer has become family feud legend and is one of Steve Harvey's personal favorites. When Harvey asks the contestants to name something that follows the word pork, things do not pan out the way he expects. Not only does the first contestant fail to pronounce or spell pork loin correctly, pork loin! but the man succeeding her then drops an absolute bombshell of an answer. Upine. Name something that follows the word pork. Upine. As in porcupine. Not only is the answer gut-bustingly stupid, but Steve Harvey's completely befuddled response and resulting tangent are now legendary. What is cupine? <laughs> you know it's bad when your family laughs and Steve Harvey doesn't even say good answer. Pork cupine <laughs> is not a damn word. <laughs> Number six, alligator. Name an animal with three letters in its name. This is one heck of a family. As we saw earlier, when asked to name an animal with three letters in its name, the first contestant to go answers frog to everyone's amusement, and it only gets worse from there. His partner answers alligator to uproarious laughter. Alligator. And Richard Dawson puts a hand on his shoulder as if to say, well, you tried. The contestant explained that he thought the challenge was to name an animal with three of the same letters, but even then, alligator still doesn't fit the bill. It's just a massive fail all around. You don't use, uh, you don't use narcotics, do you, Bob? Number five, pie and the horse. This, this could be something really good or you about to be on YouTube. Well, we all knew this was gonna be interesting. During Celebrity Family Feud, Snoop Dogg is tasked with performing in the Fast Money round, where he has to fill in the blank, pie and the what? To which Snoop, devoid of all apparent logic, answers horse, because why not? Horse. Steve's response is priceless, as he legitimately doesn't know what Snoop has said, and when he figures it out, he proceeds to go on one of his characteristic rants. Well, Snoop ended up fulfilling Steve's prophecy after all. He ended up on YouTube, and we all had a good laugh. I mean, your brain cells have suffered a little bit. <laughs> You're gonna have moments like this. Number four, gynecologist. Gynecologist. Gotta say, as bad as this answer was, no one has ever seen a look of regret come upon a contestant's face so quickly before. After being tasked with naming a job that is dirty, but someone has to do it, Rocco says plumber. A great answer. Too bad the same answer was already taken by his fast money partner. Thinking quickly, perhaps a little too quickly, Rocco blurts out gynecologist, only to stand there in stunned and awkward silence with Steve as the audience and his family laugh all around them. Rocco's family is never gonna let this one go, especially his wife. I can't even repeat it. Number three, naked grandma. Naked grandma! Naked, huh? <laughs> No, oh, sorry, not Naked Grandma, it's Naked Grandma. This bold answer is easily one of Family Feud's most popular, as it's been making the rounds on the internet for some time. Steve asks the contestants to name something a burglar would not want to see when he breaks into a house, to which Rod very passionately yells, Naked Grandma. Steve doesn't like the answer, to say the least. You're thinking, you know, an owner with a gun, you're thinking, a, a, you know, a dog. Right. This country dude. To, uh, a naked grandma! And then, unexpectedly, Rod actually receives the points due to one of the answers being occupant. This has to be one of the biggest stretches in Family Feud history, but hey, it is technically correct. What's the chances of seeing somebody grandmama naked when you break in the house? Yeah. And why is that a concern of yours? <laughs> Number two, September. During what months of pregnancy does a woman begin to look pregnant? September. This answer is at least right some of the time. 
When host Richard Dawson asks this contestant the question, during which month does a woman start to look pregnant, she gives an answer that, judging by her confidence and quick response, might be based more on personal experience than what a survey says. Dawson is so flabbergasted by the answer that he even asks to reset the clock because he's too busy laughing to continue the game. I have to reset the clock because I just laughed at her. As if that weren't enough, he continues breaking out into fits of laughter for the next several minutes. Sometimes even the pros can't hold themselves together. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Mommy and Nana How about Nana? Sheila must have been messing with Steve because there is no way these were legitimate answers. Steve asks the Patterson family to give him another way people say mother. What follows is absolute anarchy. Sheila originally gives the answer Nana, despite the person before her saying the exact same thing. After getting another chance, she says mommy, despite the answer already being on the board. She then gives mommy and Nana as answers again, but pronounced slightly differently, while Steve slowly loses his sanity. Stop clapping. What, is you trying to say it in Spanish or something? <laughs> After finally saying mom once more, Steve just stops the game before this madness can continue indefinitely. And it very well may have. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.